Hi, my name is Simone Jardim and uh, we are here in Valencia Bonita today, Bonita Springs, Florida, uh, to give you some tips on the new and improved Pickleball Tutor, uh, the Plus. And uh, I hope you have fun uh, watching these tips and hopefully learning how to use some of these drills at home. All right, so now uh, we're doing a combination of some of the other drills that we worked on. Worked on. Josh worked on his fourth shot which is when somebody hits a third shot drop and he's now coming into the kitchen, sorry, coming to the kitchen line to the non-volley zone and he no longer can keep the opponent back because they have hit a good third shot drop. So then you're gonna push that ball short to that target right there to make sure that you keep your opponent safe. And again, Brad would come in after on a regular point. Brad, your goal is to get that ball to bounce into the kitchen. The Pickleball Tutor Plus can feed 110 balls without you having to pick up. It's going to hold 110 balls. If you were to do this with a practice partner and Josh was in the baseline and Brad had a ball and you served, what would happen is that what it would mean that Brad would serve Josh would return, he would come in and do this drill 110 times. Most likely, not only would you be picking up a lot of balls, but also Josh, even though Josh is 15 years old, I'm kidding, 25, 22, 30. 30. Oh, look at that, it looks young. So anyways, a lot of the times, that repetition 110 times he wouldn't get that far because again, it would be very tiring coming in, but we want to get that repetition so we can get 110 third shot drops and we can get 110 fourth shots into the kitchen. Now, this is what the drill is going to look like because I don't want Josh to be too stagnant. I'm going to have you starting right there. And then as the ball is coming, you're going to come in into that kitchen line. You're going to hit a third, and then you hit your fourth. Then you go back again, just a one step retrieval and then coming forward again, okay? And again, footwork is everything here. Let's see it. Good. That's it, again, got it? Good. Nice. Perfect, got it? Good. It's good. Back up. Yeah, that wind is picking up a little bit, that's okay. Yeah, that's push. So especially with the wind, you gotta make sure that you push that ball nice and long. Good. Good. That's that push, nice. Good. Good, got it. Good. Look at you. Nice. Very small there. Good. Perfect. That, try to hit the back in there. That's it. I want you to get in the habit also of hitting that back in. If the ball comes that way, hit a back in. Nice. Good. 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 That's right. So the only adjustments that I'm going to make here, because it's a little bit windy that way, what I'm going to do is just Take off a little bit of the speed. All right, Brad, are you ready? That's it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Into the kitchen. Yeah, push. That's the push. That's it. Good. Good. Nice, better. Got it. That's it. That's that push. Good, that's okay. There you go. Good. Nice, good. Got it. Good, got it coming. Get up. Keep those hips forward. Keep those hips forward. 
and catch. That's it. That's it. Come on. That's it. Good. Nice. Nice. That's a beauty. Nice drop. Good. Nice. Good. Nice. That's good. Perfect. Try to do back ends as well. Don't just run around it. Yeah. Nice. Got it. That one you would smash it. But again, we're practicing that touch. That push. That's the push. Good. Good. There you go. Perfect. So to me, that's one of the best ways to get that repetition. And Josh is not exhausted by the end of it. Uh, because again, the best way to do it is that Josh gets to practice the fourth shot. Brad gets to, to practice his third. But now we pick up the balls and guess what? You switch. But if you were to do it from the back over and over again, you probably would get about 20 maybe maybe less and then you'd be like okay i'm done and usually that happens i see a lot when people come out to practice is that they get not too many uh, repetitions because of the fact that it is taxing and people say oh i'm done we're, we're just picking up balls all over the place let's play and that happens quite a bit so making sure that we're getting that repetition solid technique and you got better as it went as you went through got used to keeping those hips forward in that push, that's huge. So again, great, great practice. Uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy it and you can use it for your own benefit. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time on the courts.